notice the foot pedals, nice. That is quite a setup that he has going. Little gliss. that <laughs> he's really messing with his airflow but I just while I've paused there's some cool things about vocal technique I'll get into at the end of the video but uh, I love how unafraid he is to just not do normal things with his singing voice this is killer piano like this. He just went from this 
oh, which is like really open, dropping the larynx, and then here. Happy oh, oh. Happy oh, is like leaning. It's a little more closed and forward, raised larynx. But he's so powerful on there, that is bad, bad to the bone. And it works. You my Love it. Oh, what a cool sound. You Mercy, that was so cool. He's killer. He's like not afraid to choke off the sound. It's hard to explain, but uh... switching. There's like a bit of yodel play. That's like yodel is where you essentially are switching from chest voice flipping into head voice, and he's allowing for a certain amount of breathiness to follow that clear closed fold sound. That is clear, folds are connecting. Hey! He's like letting it kind of pop into an airier sound. That means the folds separate to do that. And it's, oh my God. I, I'm gonna back it up again because I want to listen to the ending again. It was really, this is gonna sound really weird, but there's something that like reminds me of Mariah Carey. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Separate a little there. Yeah. Like that kind of, that is all just messing with the airflow. Every little H you heard just there is the folds like not quite connecting. Why does that matter? I mean, <sighs> as far as vocal technique goes, you just want to always be be careful about being abusive on the vocal cords. You're not being abusive with that. But if you are constantly dumping the air into separating the folds and it's aggressive and it hurts, that's it. It hurts. I'm like, pfft, don't even know. <laughs> I'm kind of blown away by, by the timbre of his voice. P.S. Just spitting everywhere. Um... <laughs> This is the most ADHD video I've ever done. <laughs> but, um, okay, land your plane, Missy. So, uh, that little, I, I, it's not that excited. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Okay. The way he's doing that, the way I demonstrate it, it's just, it's a, it's just a yodel thing, like I said before. And then, um, he follows that with, like, this beautiful clarity and soulfulness, but, uh, What's so interesting about him is that timbre of his voice. That's like the personality. So you and me and him, we could all sing the same pitch and it's going to sound different. And the reason why is because we all have a different anatomy, essentially. The anatomy of his voice is different than mine, is different than yours. And so the thing you have to appreciate about this guy and anybody making sound in this way is... He's unapologetically willing to play around and make error and, and make things 
sound funky. Uh, and he's doing it so well. This is a live performance. So for perspective, I asked my video editor to edit out the silly stuff that I was, it was sounding really funky because I was not getting the right flow for it initially. And it just goes to show that even making these kind of sounds, just achieving them the way we want them to, he's just, he's just got it. This dude, I don't know what planet he is from, but it is unbelievable. He is incredible. I feel like if you just put him on a desert island and just made sure that he had piano and like power for a few hours a day so he could run his little looper thing, he would do this all day and night. Like he gets so lost in it and you have to. So that's the, the whole thing. So I teach vocal lessons and you have to be willing to make mistakes. And I just think, you know, it's clear that he has really worked on his craft. And what I'm saying for those watching, if you make music, don't be afraid to make little mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. That is where the coolest things come from. Those the weird little quirky things that he's doing comes from maybe trying to sing it through uh, without error and singing it more cleanly. And then it gets cut up accidentally because maybe he choked it off accidentally and now it's at a point where he's playing around with it and that's a part of the shtick and it's amazing so more on that in vocal lessons you can always sign up if you have any questions but don't be afraid to make mistakes because it is those mistakes and those weird quirky things that can make the best music this dude rocks i will most definitely be watching more and if you have any reaction suggestions please leave it in the comments below and if you want to sign up for vocal lessons if you're ready to work on your voice play around with sound don't be afraid to make mistakes please sign up for a lesson link in the description below i will see y'all in the next one